This is Lonely Paul with UniqueSquared.com. Today I am here in the first of a series of screen flow based tutorials to show you how to use clips within Ableton Live to trigger scene changes in machine, which will give you the ability to map your pattern changes from within Ableton sequences or using Ableton clips. So the way to do this is you actually create clips that have program change messages. Now I've already gone ahead and built my one through seven because I've got seven patterns. But just for the sake of showing you how to do one, I'm going to go down here and double click on this eight slot and then go down to this program dialog and just select eight. And what that means is that these will all correspond over here on machine to the different patterns that I have toggled and the eighth non-pattern that I'll be using as a silent frame. So, once you've done that, uh, you'll notice that I can start clicking through all these clips all I like and the pattern's not going to change at all. So what I have to do actually is enable Ableton, or actually enable Machine to see what I've done. The way to do that is you go to the New Project dialog and you click Scene MIDI Settings. And let's pull this dialog over here so you can see it without me moving the camera around. And you will click Enable and once you click enable uh, you will go to MIDI program change because that's the method we're using to call this up. You could do it with MIDI notes but that's a whole other thing and as far as the channel goes that dialogue really doesn't matter in this particular instance because we're not talking to multiple devices we're just talking from the channel where Ableton has machine to machine. So with that done we should now be able to go back over here and we can click right through and we can run all of those little patterns. And that's pretty much it, and there's the silent clip like I told you. Um, so what's cool here is you can actually use this now in the arrange mode. Uh, if you're using something like I'm using, the launch pad or an APC to trigger your Ableton clips, you can then go into record an arrangement and you can just start sort of triggering your little melodies that you've got set up to the side. Right now you're hearing an SHO1 melody that I did, and then down below I've got a bass that I'm gonna call up with the Moog after this little bit here. And there's the bass. And we can start bumping through the patterns. And you can see there where the lines are being drawn in that are actually showing where I've changed out the clips. And that gives you some flexibility later on if you want to go back and edit the arrangement as you've made it. And there I drop the bass back out so we have no clips coming from it for a second. And then we'll go back into the song in two seconds with kind of a da 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 da, -da thing here. Anyway, you get the gist, and uh, it's a pretty simple technique. It's easy for helping you keep all of your stuff organized with Machine and Ableton's workflow, and it really simplifies a lot of the arrangement process for those of us who like to keep things programmed rather than flattening them out. For the best prices on Machine, the Guy SHO1, the Moog Slim Fatty, the Novation Launchpad, or any other of the goodies that you see us throwing around in these tutorials, please visit us over at uniquesquared.com, and don't forget to live chat or call us with any questions you might have. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This is Lonely Paul with uniquesquared.com.